for acquisitions. Auction stuff. We're going back to the auction list, so get ready. Oh, this is nice. Somebody put in a game used football lot. Let's see. I'm trying to show you a mixture here just to show you what's going on. There's some really unbelievable stuff. There's some nice lots. This is lot number 118, it looks like. Somebody's starting this off at $9, and they build it as game used football lot. They have a Drew Bledsoe Carson Palmer dual jersey card in there. They have a Michael Vick jersey card. Oh, look at this, Raider Nation. A Dyra McFadden dual jersey card. You might have to make the trip to Jersey. Watch out. We have a Zach Thomas jersey card. There's a triple here. Philip Rivers, LaDainian Tomlinson, and Antonio Gate Dynasty. Triple jersey. A Chad Johnson jersey. Oh, that's before he was Ocho Nocho. We got a Terrell Owens All Pro Team jersey. Did anybody ever pick him up? I lost track of that guy. Remember he had the big tryout a week or so ago? Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, that's nice. Look at this. Gridiron Tributes, Ladanian Tomlinson jersey. Look at that. This was these were nice. Although it's a New England guy, so I don't like that. It's a uh, Piece of the goal post, I think. Looks like. Adam Venateri. Piece of the goal post. And I don't know how this got in there, but so, this guy put in a Legends Matt Lineart card. It's not even a jersey, but that's okay. He gave us enough stuff in the in the lot. It's starting off at nine bucks in the auction, the whole lot. All right, we'll wrap that up. What else we got coming up in the auction? Let's see. Oh, this was nice. And a very high grade, I might say. It's a 93 Tops Derek Jeter rookie card certified by SGC graded at 8.5. Look at that. 8.5. That's a pretty high grade for that. And that's uh, number 121. They're starting it off at 20 bucks in the auction, which is not bad. But it costs like 10 bucks to grade it. Not bad. We'll put that over there. What else we got going on in the auction? Oh, somebody put in a nice old lot of 54 and 55 Bowman cards. And starting off the bid at $5. Is that nuts? I'll show you. They're not, well, they're not in the greatest shape, but they're still 54 and 55 Bowman cards. We got a 54 Bowman Johnny Groth card. A 54 Bowman Billy Hoff. A lot of these guys are before my day. A 54 Bowman Lou Cretlow. Not bad. I think even if they're common cards, these cards book for about 8 bucks. A 54 Bowman Bob Rush. 54 Foam Bowman Bob Friend. 54 Bowman Sam Melee. Just keeps going. 54 Bowman, Mel Hodderwan. They just keep going. 50, 54 Bowman, Vic Wirtz. 54 Bowman, Eddie Miskis. Then we got some 55 Bowmans. 55 Bowman, Alex Grammis. A 55 Bowman, Hal Jeffcoat. A 55 Bowman Bob Miller. A 55 Bowman Frank Baumholtz. And a 55 Bowman Al Brazil. Or however you pronounce it. But that's a big lot for 54 and 55 Bowman. He's starting off the bid on that at $5. Unbelievable. What else we got going on? Oh, somebody put a game used basketball car lot in. Let's see. Game used basketball car lot, and they're starting off the bid at five dollars on those too. Let's see what we got. We've got a Gordon Hayward jersey card. Yeah. We've got a 
SPX Winning Materials Combo Jordan Farmer Andrew Bynum card. We got a Jersey Edition Richard Hamilton Jersey. A lot of glare. Ooh, it's shiny. We've got, oh, this is the guy that can't uh, get the job done over there. We got a Panini Threads Derek Fisher. Can't get the negotiating done. We got a Tyson Chandler jersey card. Bonzi Wells jersey card. Kareem Rush jersey card. And a Courtney Alexander jersey card. And a whole lot of jersey basketball cards are starting over five bucks. All right. We're going to another trivia, so get ready. What do we got now next? Let's see here. We've got our seventh question of the night, and it's going to be baseball, baseball. What do we got for our prize? We have a Upper Deck Pros and Prospects Promotion Alex Rodriguez card. A lot of glare here tonight. Alex Rodriguez promotion card right there for our prize. Yep. All right, here we go with the question. In 1986, the Mets won the NLCS 4-2. Which pitcher had the most wins in the NLCS championship series? Which pitcher in the 1986 NLCS championship series had the most wins? That's all I want to know. And I'm not seeing it yet. This is a pretty good question. Yeah, I'm not seeing it yet. Jesse Orozco is correct. Palmer fans got it. Palmer fans got it. Jesse Orozco. Yes, that's right. Unbelievable. In relief, had three wins. Three of the four wins. I thought that was pretty good. Yep, in relief. Palmer fans got it. Watch out. All right, we're going to have a ticket for the big box right there. All right. And we're going to, i tell you what, we're going to open our... Last couple packs, and they're going to be Topps Gridiron Legends. And I want to do Mustache Mojo. All right, but before I open them, I'm going to tell you our next big box break here at the Sports Page and on Blog TV is going to be November 17th. That's a Thursday night at 6.30. Live here at the Sports Page with hot dogs and chips. And on Blog TV, we're going to be doing the Topps Gridiron Legends. Two boxes. We're going to open. It's going to be $14 a spot for two teams. So if anybody wants to sign up, give me a blog TV message later on, and we'll work on it. Uh, we just actually put the sheet out today in the store, so nobody knows about it yet. Even Blum, I think he was here today, but it went out after he left. All right, I got my mustache mojo going, and I, I want to get something good. All right, let's see what we're going to get here. I like these cards. They're nice. Oh, look at this right off the bat. I got a Darren McFadden card. Not bad. A David Garrard. A Matt Schwab. A Marcel Darius rookie. I got a hit. Hey, it's coming. It's coming. I can feel it. It's here. I got a Virgil Green rookie. Uh, I like these, uh, uh, but I can't get them yet. I don't get them, like, in my brain. Aspiring, uh, aspiring Legacies. Von Miller. Does the card make any sense? The guy just got drafted. Oh, okay, I guess he's an aspiring legacy. I mean... I can see maybe you put Cam Newton on something like that, or you put a couple of other big guys, uh, you know. But I don't want to say nothing bad about the poor guy, but it'll probably be selling popcorn in the parking lot probably in about three years. All right. Hey, Gomer, Eli Manning. Eli Manning we got right there. I like Gomer. He beat the New England Patriots. And we got a Thomas Jones. Thomas Jones. Yeah. All right, so I got a hit on that one. That's not bad. 
I mean, I got an aspiring legacy. All right, we got pack two on that stuff. Let's see what we got. A Vernon Davis. Yeah, Von Miller's good. Okay, all right. See, I'm really bad with this stuff. If you ain't a Jet, I don't like it too much. I like my Jet. All right. I have to think that way, you know. This way I dem demise the enemy. All right, I have a Topps Legends Junior Seihau card. Oh, look at this one. Oh, Raider Nation likes this one. Howie Long. Howie Long. Look at that. Oh, I got a rookie. I got a Jet rookie. I, I wonder, you know, hopefully he'll do something. Bilal Powell. Oh, okay, I got something good. Oh, I'm doing good here. I'm peeking on the other ones. I got a Blaine Gabbert rookie card. I can't complain. Blaine Gabbert rookie card. Yeah. Then I got one of these thick cards. I got Phil Sims, the old giant. Phil Sims. Yeah. I got a Topps Legends Anquan Bolden. This was a good pack. And Steve Johnson from the Bills. You know the Bills? Now, where did Steve Johnson get left on Sunday? Does anybody know? Anybody know where Steve Johnson got left? On Rebus Island! Hey, uh, He got left on Rebus Island. I like that. All right. See, I don't, I don't care about nothing else. Just the Jets. That's it. All right. We're going to go to another trivia. Here we go. Number eight on the night, and it's football. Looks like football. Let's see what we got. We've got a Rookies and Stars Longevity Damian Williams jersey card. It's pretty shiny. Damian Williams jersey card. Which I'm sure that if you win this, if you get lost in the woods, you shine it around and they'll find you. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. Woo! I better not go crazy because the firehouse is across the street. They'll think I'm sending them sign language or something. All right. Here we go. Number eight on the night. Which year of his career did Jim Brown not lead the league in rushing? Which year of his career did Jim Brown not lead the league in rushing? And it's only one year. Yankees 43, 1962 is correct. Yankees 43's got it. Yankees 43's got it. I think it's pretty amazing that Jim Brown only did not win the rushing title one year. Is that crazy? Yankees 43 is in there. All right. He's got the Damian Williams, and he's got a ticket for the big box. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. All right. Okay, we got a few more. Yeah, we got a few more, not too many. Uh, of the auction things to show you. Three more lots, that's all. Three more lots of the auction things. Uh, this is always nice. I, had a, I have a bunch of these, and I usually put one up every auction. Uh, before he died, about six months before... Cleet Boyer signed about 50 of these for me. We had a job. We sent the pictures up there. He signed them nice. Uh, it's actually a real nice photo, too. It's Maris Mantle and Cleet Boyer, autographed by Boyer with the world champ uh, insignia there, the inscription. Yeah. And that's going to be starting off at the auction at $29. $29 is going to be starting off at with the Cleet Boyer inscribed autograph. Yeah. What else we got here? Game used baseball card lot. All right. Here it is. Let's see what we got in here. This is number 159 in the auction, and somebody's starting off the lot at $9. Okay. We got an Edgar Martinez jersey. We got an Alfonso Seriano jersey. Who's this guy? Oh, Greg Maddox. Ooh. 
Greg Maddox jersey. Listen to this one, Palmer fan. Any Palmers? You're not going to believe it. It's a classic cut Jim Palmer jersey card. In the lot. Look at that. Wow. Oh, this is another Oriole. We got an Eddie Murray jersey card in the lot. Oh, I don't know. You should send your cousin with a bid. If you can't make it, send your cousin with a bid. We have a Tony Perez jersey card in there. And a Dave Concepcion jersey card. Yep, that's a not nice lot. Starting off at what? Nine dollars. Not bad. Yep. Palmer fans gotta send somebody if he can't make it. I heard his cousin don't live too far away. Alright, what else? We got one more to show you. This was nice. Oh look at this one. I like this one. Oh, this is a big one. Ah, the price is low, too. Somebody put in a Mickey Mantle, Mitchell and Ness jersey for a $49 opening bid. Is that crazy? The Mantle, Mitch, Mitchell and Ness. There's the front of it. It's also got... Oh, let me see if I can get this out here. It's got the Cooperstown tag with the 1951 year on it. Right there. And then on the back, of course, Mickey Mantle. For 49 bucks, is that crazy? They're starting to bid off of 49 bucks. An official Mitchell and S. Cooperstown collection jersey. Those things go for a lot of dough. Oh yeah, it's unbelievable. I think uh, we set the value at 320. That's about what they go for retail, and they're starting off the bid at 49 dollars. This is another thing, and I'm trying. I didn't find this on the list though. I got to find this on the list, but. Here's something for you Cardinal fans out there that's going on in the auction. It's a framed piece of art. And I don't know if I found it on the list. It's on the list someplace. And I'm not sure what it's starting at, but I'm just going to show it to you. Look at this. It's an actual piece of art. It's about a 16 by 20. All signed by the artist, everything else. On, on the uh, canvas all matted, everything else, of Bob Gibson. Look at that. It's a nice one. Let me pull back a little bit. Look at that. That's a piece. That's a nice piece of art. The talented artist that did that. Who's the artist? Gary Longardo. It's only five of these made. That's it. He's got it numbered 105. Does anybody know who uh, Gary Longardo is? I mean, he's got to be a pretty good artist because it's a really nice painting. Actually, it looks like Bob Gibson, which is hard to do. Not bad. But I couldn't find it on the list. Let me see if I can find it on the list quick. I want to look quick. I have a way of finding autographed items because they're all, to make a secret of the auction, every fifth item is an autographed item. Is that crazy? Let's see. Just to let you guys know if I can find it quick here. I should be able to. Oh. That, that, I think, was put in a pretty good deal. Oh, let's see here. Uh, 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 wow. Of course, there's going to be... Oh, here it is. Somebody put that in starting at $69. Is that crazy? That's crazy for a piece like that. That's the kind of piece you see at a fancy mall for like five, six hundred dollars. Just starting it off at sixty-nine dollars. All right, we're going to another trivia here, so get ready. It's going to be baseball, baseball. And what do we got for our prize? Let's see here. We have a gallery original. Speaking of art, Maglio or Donia's back card. A Maglio or Donia's back card for our prize, right there. Somebody's going to win that on this question. So get ready. Well, this is a Midwest question, so get ready. See, I'm getting all parts of the country. Number nine. What year did the Kansas City Royals win their first World Series? 
What year did the Kansas City Royals win their first World Series? That's all I want to know. 1985 is correct. My TTMs has got it. My TTMs has got it. 1985. All right, so he's going to win the Magli Ordonia's bat, and we'll put a ticket in there for the big box. Right in there. All right. He's doing good. All right. Now, the Yankees. I was actually looking over. I don't know. Where's Marshall Fan? Is Marshall Fan here? You know where Marshall Fan is? He's on Rebus Island with, with that Marshall guy looking for Rebus. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's on Rebus Island, Marshall Fan. Uh,. I was looking at the list of free agent pitchers, boy. I tell you what, there's not much out there. Uh, I yeah, I know that they have. Uh, oh, he's at a hockey game. Oh, I still don't like that C.J. Wilson. I think we're going to get another A.J. Burnett with that, and we have enough guys to handle the pie. Only one guy could do the pie, so I don't know. I think he's going to be over. I mean, if we can get him for like. Twelve million, maybe, but I doubt it. He's going to be too expensive for what he gives you. I think they're better off. Uh, maybe could trade somebody. There's an idea. Where's that Cashman? Get that Cashman out here. We could trade somebody. You know who I'm thinking of? Who are we going to trade? Anybody know who I want to trade? From the Yankees. No, you can't trade Gina. What are you kidding? I would trade Gardner, sure. Why not? Yeah. I'm, th I'm going to be controversial. Pick out one of the better pitchers in the majors. We'll give him A-Rod and Gardner. What do you think about that one? Oh, yeah. But I'd rather have a front-line pitcher than either one of the, both of those guys. Yeah? And you know something? Since they say they won't pay A-Rod's salary, I'd even offer to pay 30% of his salary at least, maybe even 50%, just to get rid of him. Yeah? Because I knew when we signed him, I says, the dynasty's over. Although we did win the one World Series with him. But I says, he's not like a team guy. I don't know if you guys ever read Joe Torrey's book. He'll tell you all about it. All right. Oh, and also... We'd like to pay our respects to Smoking Joe Frazier, who just passed away, I think, today or yesterday. Uh, boy, I remember growing up, those fantastic fights. Him and Ali, unbelievable. You know, Smoking Joe. And I think he sang, too, so that was pretty good. He had a band for a while. But uh, I actually met, I never met him. I met one of his sons at a show. It was funny. It was... Uh, one of the sons was there. Michael Spinks was there. And uh, the other other Spinks was there. I'm trying to remember his name. But there, he was one of the nicest guys around. Unbelievable. Smoking Joe. We're going to miss you. Boy, he had some, some fights. All right, we're going to our last trivia. Yeah. Here we go. And it's hockey. Hockey. Here we go. We've got a old hockey lot. It's a 1977-78 Topps hockey lot. Let's see who's in it. All right, we have a 77-78 Red Berenson card from the Blues. We have a 77-78 Nick Levitt from the Red Wings. 77-78 Michael Plasse from the Rockies. 77-78 Al Cameron from the Red Wings. 77-78 Danny Gare from the Sabres. 77-78 Dan Bouchard from the Flames. 77-78 Walt McKenney from the Red Wings. A lot of Red Wings. 77-78 Cesar Maniago from the Canucks. And a 77-78 Bob Murray from the Blackhawks. 
All right, somebody's going to win the hockey lot. All right. Here we go with the question. The last question of the night. Who was the first head coach of the Quebec Nordiques? The first head coach of the Quebec Nordiques. That's all I want to know. Yeah, that's all I want to know. Maurice Richard is correct. My TTMs has got it. My TTMs has got it. Yep. Maurice Richard, the famous Maurice Richard, was the first head coach of, of the Nordiques. All right. Let me find him a ticket here. There we go. All right. We're going to put that prize over there. Okay. And we got a ticket for the big box. All right, so we're ready for the big box. Now, how many guys we got? We got five guys, five different guys in here for the ten questions. So let me get them out. We'll reload the box. We'll show you what's going on. Okay, we're going for a big prize. Our big prize tonight is the 1957 Topps Billy Martin card right there. All right, here we go. We're going to load the box up. Blum 4189. Going in. Palmer fans going in. My TTMs is going in. Blum, 4189. Oh, somebody's calling on the phone. Who's that? Puerto Rico. Let them leave a message. I'm in the middle of prizes. Raider Nation, 75. My TTMs. My TTMs. Yankees 43. Blum 4189. Blum 4189. All right, we're going to close it up here. Yeah, I can actually tell on the phone where you're calling from. Is that crazy? So, we're going to get ready now, folks, because I can't get any interruptions while I'm doing the prizes, right? All right, we're going to mix them up. Let's get some jet music. Cut the music, cut the music over there. Cut the music. All right, fellas, don't forget, all the shipping and handling is free. And if you want a prize tonight, send me your address, even if you're old. A lot of times they delete off there after a while. And all the shipping and handling is free, all the prizes are free. We're crazy. Every Tuesday night at 6.30, we're out here giving out prizes. Okay, here we go. We're going to open it up here. And we're going to go right in. I'm going from the bottom, so get ready. Our winner tonight of the Billy Martin 1957 Tops card is my TTMs. My TTMs wins the Billy Martin. Congratulations. All right. Right there. We're going to put that right over there for him. Nice, nice. Billy Martin he's got. Right there. All right, folks. Next week, we'll be back. Don't forget, if you're in the area, we're at 548 Spiegel Avenue on Morris Plains. We've got a big auction this Saturday night. Unbelievable. Also, we're on uh, eBay Sports PG, where we have two to 300 auctions a week starting at 95 cents. Could be anything. Mickey Mantle. Could be Roger Maris. It could be Johnny Unitas. 